Hey, what's going on guys? Garden Tread here, and welcome! So, you joined me uh, just outside of Chipping Camden. The reason I popped down was to go and get my camera bag from the church. So I disappeared off down here, and uh, there's a wedding on. But I picked up the tiger this morning before heading down. New boots, well, new shoes, or whatever you want to call it. New tyres. Did have the ne Metzler Torrance necks on and any slight imperfection in the road surface and it would try and pull you into it and it would track really badly it was very disconcerting so like something like that where they've just patched it the strip of tire on the outside the bike would pull into it it was a horrible feeling they had some life left in them but to be honest it was actually making me not enjoy the bike so I kind of thought well there's no point in having a bike that I'm not enjoying riding so I might as well just change the tyres out to something I know I like which I have done see what the difference is and true to form Bridgestone A41s which is the same tyre I had on my V-Strom I had two sets on my V-Stroms and absolutely adored them I got decent mileage out of them but they seemed to grip really well in all conditions on all surfaces, in all temperatures so uh, yeah I went for the same again and the difference in the way the bike feels is just unbelievable. It is difficult getting a hold of tyres at the moment, so I had the tyres changed when I booked this in for a service. And uh, because it's the time of year it is, July, I actually booked it in about two months in advance. But I knew tyres are tricky to get. So by booking in early, I could, chances are I could get the tyres I wanted. I would have been so pissed off if it had been another pair of Metzler. It's interesting, so Cooperb, the Royal Enfield dealer, recently posted on Facebook for the first time since opening they've run out of tyres. Um, and they're saying, you know, they normally keep a load or they've run out of 8020s. But yeah, Cooperb's saying they just can't get a hold of tyres at the minute. So if you want tyres, you know, book well in advance. I'm glad I had the foresight to do it. My sat nav is leading, has led me today on some really, really fun routes. The sat nav's still not fixed on the Royal Enfield, as I said in my last video, despite changing the cable. It's definitely, from what I can tell on the forums, it's the vibrations of using a sat nav bar. And you can see the sat nav skipping around like nothing, bilio. Yeah, it's definitely that, so I need to try and vibration damp it somehow. A lot of people say move it to the bars, but I don't want it on the bars, I want it above the clocks, where I'm used to it, because I like not having to divert my gaze from it. No, I'm literally back on the same road I pulled off on. Oh well, it's more interesting than the other way, so... That is the one thing with the adventurous routing, you will sometimes find that it will pull you off on one road. And it will lead you higgledy-piggledy, and then it will just put you back down on the original road, further down. I keep forgetting on this, on pr other bikes and stuff, you know, it's had a bit of a range computer, and then it get, goes through the range, and then it hits whatever, this. The uh, thing comes on when you've got a quarter of a tank left. It seems to burn through that last corner, quarter really quickly. Yeah, the way down here, wall to all twisties, which is really nice. I think it's going to take me the normal way back. I mean, you do have to be careful on these roads because you never know what's coming. I got stuck behind a uh, one of those class terror track combines. It was basically straddling straddling the road the other day. So you know, it is harvest time. The farmers have brought their big toys out to play. Random question: Would you guys like it if your partner rode? In general, would I like a partner to ride? Yeah, I have no problem with it at all. I, I quite enjoy it, you know. Touring would be amazing, rather than having to take a pillion and load up all your bike, you have your own bike. It'd just be like, it'd be amazing, it'd be brilliant. Yeah, it's really, you know, would you like it if your partner rode? Like those two. I mean, my next door neighbours, as I say, I thought it was my next door neighbours, they both ride. They absolutely love it. They're always off for weekends together. They have so much saddle time, it is ridiculous. I would love to be at that stage where you're sort of semi-retired, you're both riding, and you just go, sod it, let's go away for the weekend and, you know, pack the bikes up and go. 
I would adore that. I would be very nervous about it if Hannah started riding. And the reason for that is, so I thought I was doing the best thing when I introduced Hannah to being on a motorbike. Bear in mind she's never even sat on one. Um, her first time going pillion, I thought it was probably best to put her on the back of someone's bike who's used to riding a pillion, which was Cat Woman Wolf Rider. And Cat did a sterling job. And for the, we didn't stop until about 10 minutes into it, which was a set of lights. And the whole way between home and that set of lights, I felt sick. Like physically, like I was going to throw up. And it's not because I have no faith in Cat no faith in Hannah but I really didn't know motorbikes are one of those things aren't they they're marmite either you get the bug and you adore them or you're terrified of them there's very few in the middle ground I mean Hannah likes it she's not got the bug she doesn't have it for her it's means to an end but she'd be just as happy doing that in the car as she would on the bike. Going on the bike's more to appease me, because if we go in the car I'll just sit in a traffic jam swearing my head off. Happy enough on it, but I was just so terrified the first time she went fairly in. Because I couldn't talk to her, we didn't have cops. I was scared that she would be absolutely terrified. And she wasn't. She liked it. She really liked it, so that was good. I don't think I could watch Hannah riding a motorbike. She hates watching me ride a bike, so when I don't know, like we've gone and taken one of my bikes for a service and she's followed me in the car, she'll go in front because she's terrified of me going in front because she doesn't want to see me have an accident. I'll end the video here guys, thank you ever so much for watching and take care.